What's up guys, it's Pete from the Boat Breakers. I went on six different cruise lines this year so that I can bring you guys the best content possible. If you've never seen our content before, I'll have you know I would love to be your 14th favorite cruise channel, so please subscribe if you find this video helpful. Join me as I guide you through the complimentary and paid for dining options available on the Wonder of the Seas. Let's get started. Starting off with our free restaurants and what's included in your cruise fare, let's begin with the MDR or the main dining room located on decks 3, 4, and 5. The MDR is a three-story haven offering breakfast, lunch, and dinner on sea days. With daily changing menus, cruisers can opt for early, late, or any time dinner seating. This spot is the go-to for classic cruise dishes like escargot, shrimp cocktail, and steak or lobster on select nights. Despite its size, be prepared for close seating arrangements. We were sitting fairly close to people when we ate in the MDR. Moving on, we have the Windjammer. Situated on deck 15 aft, the Windjammer is a casual buffet venue wrapping around the ship's pool deck. Offering ocean views and a pleasant entryway, it's open for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and late night bites. The diverse menu includes North American classics and global favorites. Don't miss the talk-worthy cheese selection near the entrance or build your own pasta and salad bars. There's also a bar when you come in right to the right so you can have a drink or order something special for yourself as well. Next up, we have the Solarium Bistro. Overlooking the ship Solarium on deck 15 forward, Solarium Bistro offers a vibrant Mediterranean dining experience for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Emphasizing fresh ingredients and Mediterranean flavors, the restaurant provides a bright and breezy atmosphere for guests to enjoy their meals either indoors or a la fresco. The casual attire sets a relaxed tone for the dining experience. Highlights from the menu include breakfast staples such as creamy yogurt and seasonal fruit and lunch options that transport diners to culinary capitals along the Mediterranean coast. From fresh mussels and Greek salads to pita bread with homemade sauces, the menu is very diverse. For dinner, guests can savor dishes like tender lamb chops with mint just or succulent lobster with citrus butter. Concluding the meal with very sweet surprises, a pro tip suggests keeping an eye out for surprise dishes that rotate from time to time, enhancing the dining experience with unexpected delights. Next up, we have the Boardwalk Doghouse. For hot dog enthusiasts, the Boardwalk Doghouse on deck 6 aft in the outdoor boardwalk is the go-to spot. In my experience, I did not like the hot dogs they served here. I thought they were actually gross but again you should check it out for yourself at the boardwalk doghouse and next up we have the cafe promenade deck five's midship hosts one of the ship's favorites the cafe promenade open 24 7 for coffee pastry sandwiches and snacks this is where i went when everything was closed to grab a couple of sandwiches and the sandwiches were pretty good i'd bring them back to my room and have them if you get a coffee from here surprise you're getting it in a starbucks cup but it is not Starbucks coffee, so enjoy. And next up, we have Sorrento's. Delivers a pizza perfection with the classic options like cheese and margarita, or more adventurous choices like the meat-loaded carnivore and the tropical Caribbean dream. The casual setting invites guests to savor every bite of these delicious slices, whether you're a traditionalist enjoying sweet basil top classics or opting for unique flavors like bacon, pineapple, and barbecue. There's a slice for every pizza lover here at Sorrentino's. I recommend this place. I tried it a bunch of times, and the pizza's great here. Continuing along, we have Park Cafe, which is located in Central Park on Deck 8. It's the go-to spot destination for delicious deli bites during breakfast and lunch. Serving up classic favorites that are sure to impress, the menu features crisp made-to-order salads, fresh pressed paninis and mouth-watering sandwiches a must try is the legendary royal roast beef sandwich a favorite among guests and a true delight for cruising food enthusiasts the menu caters to a variety of tastes offering deli classics such as soups sandwiches as well as sweet treats and a stellar breakfast spread for those seeking something light and green the pro tip suggests ordering a signature pre-made salad or having the team customize one to your liking Park Cafe provides a quick and satisfying dining experience with a diverse menu that caters to everyone and a really, really nice view in Central Park if you choose to eat outside. Moving along, 
Deck 16 Aft El Loco Fresh offers insanely delicious Mexican experience for lunch and dinner from classic mole sauce to tangy salsa verde. The menu features a fiesta of flavors from south of the border, elevating dishes like beef burritos and carnitas. The casual attire sets the tone for a relaxed dining experience where guests can indulge in Mexican staples like shareable nachos, savory tacos, and burritos filled with the choice of beef, chicken, or pork. For breakfast, the menu includes filling options such as breakfast burritos and quesadillas, along with traditional items like scrambled eggs, hash browns, sausage, and bacon. So that's nice. The south of the border sweets include chocolate, dulce de leche, Mexican flan, and tres leches cake, and a delightful touch to the culinary journey. A pro tip suggests taking advantage of the outdoor seating or opting for a convenient grab-and-go experience at El Loco Fresh. And last on our list for free included in your cruise fare is Sprinkles Ice Cream. A beloved Royal Caribbean tradition by the pool is a go-to spot for satisfying all your ice cream cravings. Enjoy the delightful experience of choosing your favorite soft serve flavor and get adventurous with the combo. Whether you're cooling off for a perfect pool day or simply indulging in a sweet treat, Sprinkles is the cherry on top of a refreshing experience out in the sun. I do have to admit these lines get extra long though, so be prepared to wait in line. All right, moving on to restaurants that cost extra on the wonder of the sea. Starting off, we have 150 Central Park. Indulge in a seasonal and elegant dinner at 150 Central Park. Featuring locally sourced ingredients at their peak, the smart casual setting ensures a refined experience. Purchase through the cruise planner on the Royal app. Highlights include crispy Berkshire pork belly, braised short rib, duck duo, and pan-seared halibut. Save room for dessert, though, with options like fried cheesecake or fudgy peanut butter chocolate tart. Some dishes are prepared tableside. Look for the TS symbol on the menu for these interactive choices. Next up, Chops Grill offers a classic American steakhouse experience for both lunch and dinner. With over a decade of excellence, the chefs present a revamped menu blending contemporary flair with traditional flavors. The smart casual setting ensures a stylish dining experience open for lunch on sea days only. Menu highlights include charred beef carpaccio, a popular tender filet, and a signature Gruyere cheese potato croquet. Don't miss the delectable desserts like tarkey lime merengue pie or a classic New York cheesecake. Next up, we have Giovanni's Kitchen. Indulge in the flavors of Italia at Giovanni's Kitchen, where Sunday supper is a daily treat. The menu features old world classics, including veal meatballs, paparadella with rodicchio cream, and hand-tossed pizzas straight from the oven. A casual attire sets the stage for a relaxed dining experience. Menu highlights at the Giovanni's include an assorted meat and cheese platter, caprese salad with truffle burrata, and a classic oven-baked lasagna. For pizza enthusiasts, the 12-inch offerings range from a traditional margarita to inventive options like truffle and egg with bacon, pocorino, and white truffle oil. Don't forget to consult the pizza maker for the perfect wine pairing for a diverse list of featuring sago anise to super Tuscan. Next up, we have the Mason Jar. Discover the essence of Southern comfort at the Mason Jar Southern Restaurant and Bar. This cozy eatery offers a homespun vibe with a unique twist on American low country classics, bayou staples, and delectable barbecue. From fall off the bone meats to bold spices, each dish is a southern delight. The casual setting welcomes guests to enjoy brunch favorites like breakfast biscuits or sweet toothed cinnamon rolls. For supper, save your grands fried chicken, lobster and crawfish gumbo, and crab ignettes with creamy lump crab dip. Reserve your spot using the cruise planner on the Royal app. Menu highlights include crab nets, fried green tomatoes, and indulgent warm bread pudding. Next up, we have Azumi. Head into one of my favorites, Azumi and Azumi Hibachi. This Japanese dining venue offers high-quality sushi, sashimi, ramen, and an interactive tempanyaki experience. Check out our vlog for the hibachi experience. You'll love it. All right, next up, we have Hooked Seafood. For an authentic taste of New England-style seafood, Hooked Seafood is the place to go. Indulge in coastal flavors with crispy Maryland crab cakes, mouth-watering Maine lobster rolls, and the selection of raw bar favorites. The casual attire sets the tone for laid-back dining experience, allowing guests to savor the taste of summer. 
Menu highlights include the messy fish sandwich, which was one of my favorites, the New England style clam and crab chowder for lunch. For dinner, don't miss the drunken mussels as a starter and indulge in the captain's platter featuring a grilled lobster tail, fresh, fresh filet, and prawns, all served with warm melted butter. Dessert options range from the tropical coconut cream pie to the ultimate indulgence of chocolate decadence brownie served with a lamode with chocolate fudge and salted caramel sauce. Holy moly, my mouth is watering. Next up, we have Wonderland, inspired by Alice in Wonderland. This two-story venue takes dining to new level with this imaginative and whimsical approach to cuisine. The menu is an adventure in creativity featuring avant-garde dishes with unique flavor combinations. The restaurant's immersive and fantastical decor enhances the overall dining experience, making it a standout option for those seeking an innovative experience. If you'd like my full review on this, definitely check out our Wonder of the Seas review on our channel. Next up, we have one of my favorites. I ate here uh, quite a few times. There were some soccer games and some other sports events I like to watch and have a beer and just have some wings. We got Playmaker Sports Bar and Arcade. It's a winning choice for sports enthusiasts. The casual spot offers match day favorites, icy cold droughts, and a vibrant atmosphere. Enjoy larger than life appetizers like pylon nachos or pigskin sliders. Wing lovers can indulge in buffalo barbecue or Jamaican jerk options. I recommend trying all of them. The menu includes classic and truffle cheeseburgers as well as the impossible burger for plant-based delights. Save room for dessert though with the five scoop touchdown sundae or the campfire cookie. Please note that the age restriction is 21 plus on North America sailings and 18 plus on all others. It's the perfect spot to catch a game or a face off in the arcade while savoring delicious bites. Next up, we have a favorite, Johnny Rockets. It's a fun retro atmosphere with all American classics like you know it. Since 1986, they've been serving up fresh, never frozen, certified Angus beef burgers, crispy fries, classic sandwiches, hand spun shakes, and malts. In a casual setting, enjoy the menu highlights like an original burger, crispy chicken club sandwich, and a smokehouse burger. This place is always packed though, so be careful and be prepared to wait. Don't forget to pair your meal with the crispy fries or indulge in Oreo cookies and cream shake for a sweet treat. It's a perfect spot for good times and good food and relaxed atmosphere on the boardwalk. Our last two places, we have Starbucks, which is on deck five. Starbucks, as you know, it offers coffee, lattes, and other creations in a full service location where you can use your rewards, which I was surprised for. And lastly, we have the good old trusty room service. While conventional breakfast is complimentary, anything beyond incurs an $8 delivery fee. Again, I had the room service a few times when I watched the movie in the room. It was pretty good. As always, thank you guys again, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave them. We answer every single comment we can. Um, if you like the video, leave it a like. If you like this channel, definitely feel free to subscribe. We are planning on bringing a lot of great content here in 2024, so I look forward to hearing from you guys. And again, thank you guys so much. I'll see you next Thursday.